Can individuals with chronic pain conditions stemming from cultural practices qualify for Social Security disability benefits? Individuals experiencing chronic pain conditions linked to cultural practices may qualify for Social Security disability. SAD benefits if they can establish a clear connection between these practices and the resulting disability. The SAD program does not discriminate based on the origin of the chronic pain. Rather, it focuses on the functional limitations imposed by the condition. To strengthen a claim in this context, individuals should provide a comprehensive evidence connecting the chronic pain to specific cultural practices. This includes detailed medical records, diagnoses, and expert opinions from healthcare professionals who can attest to the causative relationship between the cultural practices and the chronic pain. Additionally, individuals should highlight how the pain limits their ability to engage in substantial gainful activity and perform essential job duties. Maintaining a detailed and consistent medical history is crucial. Documenting the onset of symptoms, the progression of chronic pain, and any treatments or interventions undertaken to alleviate the condition provides a comprehensive picture for STD adjudicators. A residual functional capacity RFC, assessment conducted by a medical professional can further quantify the functional limitations imposed by the chronic pain, offering crucial information for the STD claim. While navigating the SSD program for chronic pain conditions related to cultural practices may pose unique challenges, a well-documented case that establishes a clear connection between the practices and the resulting disability can significantly enhance the likelihood of qualifying for SAD benefits. Being transparent about the cultural context and seeking professional medical opinions are essential components of a compelling SAD claim in this context.